With this, we quickly move on to the fifth keynote address of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Mr. Atul Aluwalia, founding partner, part, first partners. Good afternoon. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, congratulations to the winners of 40 under 40 who are already here. Uh, you know, I personally went through a lot of entries and we saw some great work here. Also, uh, my topic is very similar to the gentleman who's just spoken before, so I hope I can be different and raise different points here. So even I'm talking about the era of millennials in VR. So I think everybody here in this room will essentially be a millennial because you know you have to be between the age of 27 and 42. So I guess the topic is very relevant to the people here. But you know, as you go into, and you're also, I believe, sitting right in the middle. So you had Gen Y, uh, where you know, you've taken certain values from there, and there's Gen Z, from which you're taking a whole lot of values. Now with all of this, as you go into the next 20 to 25 years, which you have of your work experience, how, what are some of the challenges that I see that you need to address, and certain trends that you need to stride on? So the first one that I'd like to talk about is the fact that India is finally shining. India today is a shining star. I think more than at any other point in time, we can be proud to be Indians today. I mean, just look at it. We are the fastest growing economy in the world. Uh, we are the fifth biggest economy in the world. We are leading the G20 uh, summit right now. We are the IT and pharma hub of the, uh, uh, you know, of the world. We also have all the leading CEOs of global companies, even prime ministers of countries are Indians. It is India's era today. And I think you are all very fortunate because you, have, you are at a time when India is going global. And I think the big task that I would expect from the millennials here is that you have to help Indian PR also go global in a very big way. It must mirror the advancements that India is making right now. Is the level and the standards of PR that we are practicing completely comparable to the ones in the world? How many of our campaigns are really you know, industry defining, how many make it to the top 40 campaigns in the world? I think there is a big way to, for the Indian PR industry to go. And I think this is a better time than any other time. If you're not able to capitalize this, it will be a big failing. So I basically would urge all of you to really work hard towards elevating Indian standards of PR. Also, I believe that, you know, I don't necessarily agree about PR being a lot of media. I heard everybody and I would agree that while media is very key to what we do, but I think it is time for us to elevate the function of PR itself. And I think that unless we don't walk two tracks besides the reputation building track we must work very aggressively on helping our organizations and clients business. Because unless you don't help the business, you are never going to be a top level function. We cannot remain a subsidiary function of marketing all our lives. We have to be a CXO function for which you have to play a more elevated role. It, it cannot be that when you need me or to, PR, um, you need media, PR agency ko bula lo, or the PR person gets active. You have to be there and believe you me, I think good strategic communication is absolutely critical for business success. And that is something that you have to prove. And that is, if, if that is something that you can prove to the senior management, then you know, it will change the way PR is seen. I think your Gen Y has worked very hard to take PR from the whining and dining days to uh, you know, be taken more seriously. But I believe there's a bigger role to play and I believe there's no better time than now. 
and uh, especially for you to be even globally noticed for what you're doing. So I believe that's the first thing. The second one I believe everybody has talk, uh, talked about is about climate change and the role that you need to play because we all know that the climate calamity is already here. You know, we've seen extreme weather conditions, we've seen supply chains which have got disrupted, we've seen businesses getting impacted. I think this will be a major thing that millennials will have to also work very closely to see that they are becoming, uh, becoming ambassadors of climate change. So I think that's really the second thing that I would urge the millennials to focus on. The third one, you know, is something that I've already mentioned, is to elevate the role of PR. Please do not restrict it to media. Please be part of important conversations and chatter that is happening in the country in resurgent India. So at First Partners, we tell all our clients, you know, we have a 3x philosophy that decides don't be blinkered about what your organization has to say. Also look at what are the other conversations that are happening around. What are some of the key chatter? What are some of the government's biggest uh, priorities? Where do your clients have a major play in some of these priorities? And therefore, how can you do a more elevated kind of communication? How can your narrative be more elevated? We basically work at First Partners on three different kind of narratives. So one is the hard narrative, which we believe is all organizational news. So what is the organization doing? What is its vision, et cetera? But more critically, you have to have a more elevated track, which is more about nation building. You cannot in today's day and time only talk about your company. You have to talk about how are you influencing important developments that are happening in the country. And the third one is the soft part. I believe soft power has a lot of importance and we many times undermine it. So, and there are different routes for you to go into. So soft power, you can use more supplements. Hard, you use more interviews. Halo, you use more of bylines and speakership opportunities. So I think we need to work on multiple tracks, but more important, we need to get into elevated conversations. And that is when PR is going to be taken more seriously. And I think you people have the onus of really taking the PR industry to the next level. And that is only going to happen if you get into more elevated conversations, into conversations which are important for the country and where your companies have a major play. And I think the next one, again, is something that we've all touched upon is that, you know, for instance, my uh, generation was more attuned to traditional media. Of course, we've tried to embrace digital as well, but I think you have to embrace far more technologies, uh, you know, as there's metaverse and many others, and really be on top of all of them so that, uh, you know, because you're not lacking on that, that's very critical. And the last one, I believe, is talent. So if you really have to make a mark, if the Indian PR industry, so even our movies are making a mark, so you know, we've all seen uh, how RRR has done and stuff like that. How is Indian PR industry going to take global center stage? It can. Your, the developments in your country is going to help you do that. It's only up, up to you now to up your ante and do that. But for that, you'll also need great support and great talent. Where is that talent going to come from? And you'll only be able to attract great talent if you do great work yourself. Unless you don't elevate what we as a PR industry are doing. We're doing a great job, but I believe that there's lots more to do. You will not be able to attract the best talent. So uh, I think that's very critical, really, in our pursuit of taking PR to the next level. Having seen some of the entries at 40 under 40, I think they are great. So I know we are in safe hands. So I wish you all the best, best of luck, and we are all waiting. Thank you.